Last winter, I was scheduled to help on a lesson with Eagle Mountain Big Sky. My lesson was with Bob, who has a progressive neurological disorder called multiple syndrome atrophy, or MSA, which causes autonomic nervous system failure, creating a loss of balance, motor, and muscle control. As we skied together that day, I learned more about the disease, including the heart-wrenching fact that Bob will pass within five to seven years from MSA. Bob stated that day, it's easier for me to ski than it is to walk, and I wish ski season would last all year. Professionally and passionately, I am both a photographer and certified therapeutic recreational specialist. After skiing with Bob, I wanted to find a way to blend my two passions and spread inspiration to others who might be struggling with their own barriers to recreation and leisure. Therapeutic recreation, or TR, as I will be calling it tonight, uses leisure and recreation experiences to help people with limitations make the most of their lives, physically, mentally, and socially. It aids improvement of functional abilities, enhances well-being, and most importantly, increases one's independence. TR empowers people with diverse abilities to develop healthier minds and bodies, encouraging robust activities that make life more satisfying. It fosters deeper relationships with an overall sense of acceptance developed through the camaraderie of therapeutic recreation. TR helps people of all ages and all abilities, including people with physical, cognitive, and developmental disabilities and mental health issues. TR uses holistic processes designed to meet the needs of the individual and knock down any barriers to recreation and leisure. We can improve physical abilities focusing on muscle strength, balance, and coordination, which helps to reduce injury to muscles and joints and risks of falling. We encourage play through creativity, communication, and self-expression. I want you to imagine skiing down a slope without the use of your eyes. A TR professional can teach you this specific skill. We also empower individuals to take responsibility for their own life by developing a lifestyle that includes positive health behavior and less dependency on the healthcare system. The learning process is very kinesthetic and we teach patience and most importantly, perseverance while we develop these new abilities. Exercises might include hopping on the back of a horse to develop a strong core or getting in a sit ski to reduce secondary problems such as pressure sores and depression. A CTRS will typically be part of a greater team of therapists such as physical and occupational therapists in a rehabilitation setting or with mental health providers such as psychologists or with a well-rounded team of adaptive and recreational sport professionals. TR services can be found in adaptive sports centers such as Eagle Mount, nursing homes, mental health campuses, youth and, ad youth and adult correctional facilities, substance abuse centers, and community recreation departments, along with private practices. TR can take place pretty much anywhere, cruising on a monoski at Bridger Bowl, riding a horse, hiking up the M, cycling, kayaking, and so on. Haven't you felt that sense of elation when you shred that perfect powder turn, like last Thursday, um, or bag that mountain peak? TR has successfully helped my dear friend Lizanne, who acquired a spinal cord injury just over six years ago. It has been a long road for her, but she is now an independent cross-country skier and hand cyclist. Through her own experience, she has gained empathy for other athletes and is now able to help others as a trainer for the Eagle Mount Cross-Country Ski Program. Skyler has cerebral palsy and neurological regression. He started skiing with Eagle Mount, a beginning skier, who can now typically be found shredding on Pierre's knob. He can rock climb, he can kayak, he zip lines, he's everyone's friend, and you can typically find him fending off Miss Montana. <laughs> Casey is a US veteran suffering from PTSD, anxiety, depression, and shoulder injuries from an IED explosion. TR has allowed her to tackle her anxiety head on. She is retraining her brain to understand that adrenaline is not always a sign of danger, but that it can be fun. 
During a local training ride, local Ryan Regard is on the heels of a leader knocking down barriers for the disabled. She is motivational speaker and Paralympian Muffy Davis, three-time gold medalist in hand cycling and silver and bronze medalist in alpine ski racing in the Nagano, Salt Lake City, and London Olympics. About six years ago, I started cycling with Ryan, and it was a struggle for him to ride approximately five to seven miles. Today, he is pursuing hand cycling competition at the national level. And funny enough, I can't keep up with him anymore. And I'm lucky if I might be able to catch him on an uphill. Bilbo Ness is more able-bodied than most people I know. He is a mentor to many, including myself, and leader with the Professional Ski Instructors of America. He has helped to lead the way in the world of adaptive ski instruction by co-writing the adaptive ski books and being the first disabled person on the national PSA demonstration team. And if you didn't think that was enough, he's a nine-time world champion and six-time world record holder in water skiing. This last weekend, he was the first disabled water ski athlete to be inducted to the USA Water Ski Hall of Fame. He has paved the way for many to follow. The bigger picture uses my love for photography to capture real people using recreation for wellness and happiness. Continue to look through your lens of life and get after that mountain you have been meaning to tackle. The only limits that any of us have, able-bodied or disabled, are the limits that we put on ourselves. Thank you.